Mm-hmm. Mm. It's the morning cryptos, and uh, looks like we got a little green here. And uh, ironically enough, this is the actual. Uh, there's a herd of deer just walking through the neighborhood. Hmm. Anyway, this is the actual anniversary of my buying my first twenty dollars of Bitcoin at Coinbase, February seventh, two thousand seventeen, and. Uh, Little did I know that that $20 would grow to $42,000 and back down to, <laughs> I actually haven't done the math, I don't know how small it is now. However, why not earn while you learn? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying here. We're earning and we're learning and we're making mistakes and stuff is happening that we don't expect and stuffing stuff is happening that we do expect, so let's talk about it. Let's start the music. <laughs> that was That was a little bit of a long intro. Cold open, they call it, in the business. Mm. All right, so Bitcoin. Where was it last year at this time? Where was it? Mm. Where was it? Let me just get rid of this RSI for a second. We have a twitchy day. A new computer is coming soon. All right, so 2017. September 2016. So we were to, to 2017, somewhere around here. Yeah. And I started buying, this is really too small to see. I know there's a way to do this, but people, I don't know what it is. So anyway, it was a lot lower. A year ago <laughs> it was like about a thousand bucks when I first started trying to get it it was 700 and then by the time I finally got it it went up to a thousand and then 1200 bucks and I was like ah oh, I missed out but then it pulled back let's see here here we go oh right here there we go that's it that was essentially exactly a year ago Wow so if you draw a line from where it was exactly a year ago ish and you draw that line to let's just say yesterday's low this actually doesn't look that bad it is steady up it just comes in spurts you know and it's learning the big lesson is learning <laughs> how to take profits as you go up Protect those profits somewhere, and U.S. dollar tether is not an option anymore because it seems pretty funky. Uh, the only option is to get take whatever profits you've made and put them into Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, or Litecoin, and send it over to Coinbase, and then from Coinbase put it into your U.S. dollar wallet there. Now. I wouldn't do that with Bitcoin because it takes too long to send it, right? But you could put your profits into Bitcoin at this at a lower spot here, and then move it over and take your couple of days or, or move it over in a large enough chunk so that the miners will actually mine it for you. <laughs> but you have some options. It's not as easy as just popping stuff into Tether. Uh, but something else will come up that solves that problem. And, you know, it would be really nice if we could go in and out of U.S. dollar, if the world governments would actually recognize that this is currency. It's just a different government, right? It is, you know, U.S. The U.S. government recognizes France, and you can swap your currency, you know, for your, your U.S. dollar for euros or whatever, but the whole idea that someone other than a government 
creates the currency is a problem for them. But the reality is, Bitcoin is a government <laughs> of the people, for the people, by the people. <laughs> right? Anyway, I won't get started on that. So, anyway, Bitcoin's up a little bit. It's back up into the 8,000-ish range. I would be pretty sure it's going to come back down to this line, but who knows? What do I know? Let's look at Bitcoin news. Cryptocurrency market could hit $1 trillion this year with Bitcoin going to 50000 This is CNBC. Just yesterday, they were saying how Bitcoin was going to zero, right? They don't care as long as they have a headline that gets the attention of the human mind. Anyway, Bitcoin up over 20% as crypto markets regain poise. Coinbase, Coindesk, sorry. Floor found, strong volumes push Bitcoin above 8,000. So, okay, so here's the deal. The professionals came in in December with their futures trading crap. They pushed the price up. They all shorted it and watched it fall, and now they're buying. All right? So just be aware, people, that there are very big players in these markets now, and we're the small ones. However, you can sail a sunfish around a oil tanker, right? You can. You just have to be careful and keep your distance. <laughs> All right, what else in the Bitcoin? So I, I Google Bitcoin price as well. We have the same uh, CNBC thing. Popular science. Bitcoin is bonkers right now. Here's why you shouldn't count it out. That could be interesting. I used to love popular science as a kid. Bitcoin's real price is perpetual anxiety and distraction. That could be an interesting article. So, anyway, some interesting stuff. Not a whole lot of FUD at the moment. Uh, not a whole lot of FOMO either. Just some. Oh, I just want to grind through these because I haven't looked. Um, let's just make them a little bigger so we can see. Bitcoin Cash. We have some green. Bitcoin gold. I still think this pattern is tradable. I still think you could get in a Bitcoin gold down here. And I think it's going to pop. You sell and you do it over again. We'll see. <laughs> Dash. Dash is recovering nicely. Thank you very much. Uh, last night before I went to bed, I just drew some lines and a couple of different things just to see, you know, how bad are we? It's not bad at all. If you follow the actual kind of bottoms, you know, if you're going to be a an optimistic pessimist, just look at the bottoms and draw a line. Connect all those lines. There's a trend line. It's not an average, but it's a trend line. This is where the caterpillar of greed has touched down. So, not bad. If you can keep your head in, this, in the crazy boosts, grab your profits and get out and then wait I mean, that takes discipline. I don't know if I have it. Certainly most people don't. But EOS is looking like it's going to come back. Ethereum looking like it's going to be okay. You know, I can do the same thing with Ethereum. You know, what's our, what's our longer line here? It's still up. It's still up significantly. Um, IOTA. What's going on with IOTA? Boom. Still up. Litecoin. Coming back. Coming up. Coming up. <laughs> right. We'll see. We could still be, this could still be bear market stuff, people. Just because we have a couple of recovery days doesn't mean it's all over and we're going back to business. It could mean that. This is the cryptos. Time is compressed. Even though it doesn't feel that way when we have a bunch of blood in the streets here. Omi say go. Gonna survive. I think it's gonna make it. Quantum. Not a bad price to get in. <laughs> XMR Monero. It's all coming back. And it's just like it all seems to work together. 79 cents for some XRP ripple. Zcash against Bitcoin. Zcash against US dollar. Not bad. Let's just look at Cardano against Bitcoin. Cardano against Ethereum. 
and Cardano against US dollar tether just because as I said the previous 12 days uh, it's a, at least it's a chart in US dollars it's right here and I just need to think in US dollars sometimes what's my basic attention token doing against Bitcoin hanging in against Ethereum all right so people it's not a bad day. Got some green. Got some green here and there. Got some trend lines that aren't so horrible. It's really not the worst in the world since last year on February 7th, it was $1,000 or so. And uh, it's eighty three ninety at the moment. So that's it for today, people. Hang in there. Keep breathing. Keep focusing on stuff you love in your life. And make sure if you ha you know if you're thinking about quitting your day job, maybe it might not be time to quit it yet. <laughs> but it also is a time to reflect on why did I get into cryptos in the first place, right? I got into cryptos in the first place to raise money so that I could pay my son to edit a concert that I did that he his video crew videotaped or videoed for me, recorded for me, and then. He got really busy. He got into cryptos and he made a ton of money in cryptos and he really didn't need my money. <laughs> right? He needed time. So a couple of weeks ago he delivered the concert on uh, on a hard drive. And I tried to edit it but my computer was way too slow. So I took a little of the money that I'd saved up to pay him and I bought a computer with it which will arrive in a couple of days. And I will get to editing my own concert, which will be really fun for me. I, I love doing that. So did it serve its purpose? Even if I walk away from the cryptos today, did I fulfill my purpose that I set out to do a year ago, which was to raise enough money so I could get a project done with my music? Yes. Did I make more than enough to cover that editing? Yeah, I did. Okay. So mostly where I am down is in, you know, I took a bunch of profits and the profits evaporated. So learning, 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 learning how to interact with these markets and people, <clears throat> these markets are just beginning. So learn as much as you can, be smart, be careful, constantly evaluate what you're doing with as little emotion as possible. Be safe, learn from seasoned traders like Crypto Grinders and Data Dash and Crypto Investor. The links are below every video. And check in with me from time to time to see what is happening here as I share with you as best I can the adventures of someone who is new to crypto, maybe like you. All right, that's it. My name is Mark Shepard. This has been The Morning Cryptos. It is February 7th, 2018. And I think this is uh, episode 30, uh, I forgot, but I'm keeping track of it. So um, that's it. I'm out of here. Start the music. Speaking of music, there's more coming. <laughs>